Welcome back folks to the Via Pinstriping page. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching. Um, today I kind of wanted to explain something that I like to use uh, for home use, for like just art on my panels at home. Um, this is something that I use to create this grid line. I don't know if you can see there, I have a grid line and this is a completed panel. Um, this grid line has maintained throughout even though I did have multiple mistakes that I wiped off or things that I just didn't like. Um, this is an Expo, uh, I think that's Vice of Vice or Vice of Vice, a wet erase marker. You could find these at almost any drugstore, Walmart, uh, Target, whatever, just regular old stores. Um, I would not recommend you use these on vehicles. So again, that's mainly just for uh, at-home purposes. If you're practicing or if you're working on a panel that you, you might sell or give away or, or keep. But just art that's really not going to be exposed to the elements. And I'm going to show you why I like to use these. So here I have some mineral spirits in this cup. And I'm just going to moisten this towel with some mineral spirits and if you see here if I made a mistake here and I just didn't like it I can wipe and wipe and wipe I'm not pushing down real hard but as you can see those grid lines do remain um, I don't know how it reacts with lacquer thinner I really don't mess too too much with lacquer thinner these days uh, it's been mostly just mineral spirits um, but as you can see, it does not wipe off that grid, so I can continue, um, working on that, on that spot without having to either redraw a grid. I mean, I rely on the grid quite a bit. I know some folks have the opinions on maybe relying on it less, but, uh, you know, I'm still fairly new, so it's, it helped me keep symmetry. Now... Let me see if I could dry this off a little bit. That is the, the small issue with mineral spirits is it does take a while to dry. So you see it's drying off and it didn't really affect the grid lines too much. Now let me show you what water does to it since it is a wet erase marker. So here we have just plain old water. Now this is a dry panel, so I'm not really worried about hurting the, the paint, but check this out. All gone. I don't have to push, I don't have to do anything. Now if you do have like a moist fingertip or or if your hand gets a little bit moist, they will wipe off that grid. And sometimes you will end up with like a little bit of the marker on your on your wrist or whatever, or on your hand. <clears throat> but yes, comes right off of water. I mean, if you didn't even want to wipe it, if you were concerned about wiping it, you probably could run it under a tap <laughs> and just kind of, it would just fall off. Or put it in a spray bottle. Um, Windex does the same thing to it, except I have had issues with Windex kind of raising the paint. So I, I have kind of stayed away from the Windex. It is a little bit stronger. I'm trying to get it to dry up a little bit. So you can see that the grid is actually gone. See that? No grid. So there you have it folks, a wet erase marker for panel art, home art, stuff that's not going to see the elements, you know, uh, little things that you might be working on at home. Um, keeps the grid as long as you use mineral spirits. Um, I don't know how it reacts with other reducers or things used to wipe off. I don't know how it works with denatured alcohol or alcohol, but with mineral spirits, it doesn't touch it. So I, I keep a grid the entire time I'm working, which is nice. 
All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you will see a little bit of a difference in uh, the way things look on my videos here coming up because I am moving into this uh, spare room and I'm getting out of the living room. And I just thought I'd make a uh, quick video during the transition. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Get you one of these if you want to try them out. And have a great day.